Activists participating in the march on Wall Street South will start here in Fraser Park. They'll march to the headquarters of the Bank of America and then pass the Time Warner Center where the convention is due to begin on Tuesday. They lend their protest outside the Duke Energy Building, one of the country's largest electricity providers. Rob Reynolds is live in Charlotte. Uh, Rob, the timing of this march, no coincidence, obviously. Will there be much of an impact, though? Well, hard to say at this point, Gita. The Democratic National Convention doesn't get underway for two days, but the protests are already well underway and have been actually since uh, Saturday. Uh, to today, uh, here in this city park, uh, there's a, a large number of people who are gathering, at least a large number of different causes being represented, everything from um, immigrant rights to, as you mentioned, uh, groups that are protesting the influences of uh, finance and banking on U.S. society, and especially people who are protesting the huge number of foreclosures that have taken place, more than four million people who have lost their homes to uh, bank foreclosures over uh, the period between uh, 2006 and the present. I want to show you uh, just now a little taste of what's going on here in Fraser Park. Uh, one of the groups has struck up the band with some drums. Uh, another group is uh, speaking uh, at a podium down there. The numbers at the moment appear to be fairly small, and that could have something to do with the weather. It is hot and very steamy here in Charlotte today. Now joining me uh, here uh, in Fraser Park for this protest is uh, David Johnson. David, thank you very much for, for being with us. David, unfortunately, is in the position with his wife and three children of uh, being in foreclosure. And I just wanted to ask you if you could uh, explain to our viewers, David, uh, how that happened. What We applied for a uh, loan modification from Flagstar Bank and um, when nothing happened after a short time, um, they advised us that if we did not become delinquent on our loan, that we'd never make it to the top of the pile to get our, our loan modified. In other words, they, they actually told you you should stop paying your mortgage. Yes, sir, they did. All right, and then what happened? Then what happened, uh, it went on for approximately 20 months, and we got uh, HUD involved. Uh, HUD made something happen, got them to act, um, but by this point, at 20 months in, we owed so much money, the option that they gave us was to pay 95% of our normal mortgage payments for three months with no indication of what the modification was to be. Now, David, uh, I'm very sorry for the situation that your family finds itself in, but I'd like you to comment on uh, the, the, the whole situation that facing the country and facing millions of people like yourselves and your family. The Obama administration has uh, put in various programs to help people like yourself. The uh, big banks were actually sued and had to settle for $25 billion. And as far as you can see, has, have any of these programs, loan modification, loan forgiveness, or, or any relief for mortgage payers, has any of that done any good? In my opinion and my personal situation, no, it has not. So how would you rate President Obama's handling of this particular issue as the DNC gets underway? I think the Obama administration put programs out there, but they didn't, they didn't keep after them. And the banks just basically did what they wanted to do, and I think it was a failure. And finally, what is, what is the deadline for your um, uh, situation with your, your mortgage? November 19th. You're facing foreclosure on November 19th.